I'm Barry Trammell, and some in the state say that Tulsa is an Oklahoma state town. Not always so. <laughs> We're going to see on Saturday just how much. From the Opopco studios in Oklahoma City, you're watching the Press Row. I'm Jenny Carlson. Press Row is brought to you by Cox, high-speed internet. It's a pop quiz from Cox. Your kids have the gadgets, but what do they really need to shoot to the top of the class? This great deal on Cox blazing fast high-speed internet. Get it today at the Cool in School sale from Cox. Barry, it is going to be at least an orange tinge crowd in Tulsa, but is that going to play into how this game shakes out on Saturday night? Well, we'll see. You know, OSU has not played in Tulsa in 11 years, and this is a rivalry that resumed there in the 70s and, and became an annual thing. So uh, I, don't, I don't know why uh, specifically things got off track. I know some of the things that got to the series off track, but uh, it's been revived, and now the Cowboys go back to Tulsa and uh, learn a little history, OSU. Things don't come easy at the University of Tulsa when you're the Cowboys. OSU won in its most recent trip, 36-26, but before that, the Cowboys struggled mightily. Bob Simmons, in my opinion, the, the, the start of his descent as the Oklahoma State coach came in that 98 game when uh, OSU was coming off the Alamo Bowl uh, victory, uh, or the Alamo Bowl season, had a, uh, had a strong nucleus back, went over to Tulsa and got behind 35 to nothing before losing 35-20. Be careful over there, Cowboys. The strange things can happen to you. Uh, at Chapman Stadium. Yeah, and I think the Cowboys are aware of th some of the inner workings and the dynamics in this game. I mean, obviously, you're talking about in Tulsa, uh, you know, the number three program in the state. I don't think I'm surprising anybody by saying that, but you've got players that a lot of these OSU guys know uh, maybe wanted to go to Oklahoma or Oklahoma State, weren't extended offers, or uh, didn't get the opportunity to play for the, uh, the other two in-state uh, school programs. So I think they recognize that there is a factor of you know, guys that would say, hey, I wanted to go there, I didn't get offered there. So some of that will be in play. And I think the other thing to think about here, too, is the Cowboys have become a really good road team. They were undefeated on the road a year ago, which, you know, is a fairly remarkable stat. Now, they've got a super tough road schedule this year. But this team, I think you've got veteran leaders, and then I think you've got some fairly mature young players on this team. I think that makes for a good road team, Barry. But this is kind of a good, I think it's a good test for them because there are going to be a lot of Oklahoma State fans there. It's a tough offense with G.J. Kenny leading the way. I think this is a good first road game for this team this year. Well, it's, an, it's, it's darn near perfect. If you got to go on the road, it's nice to not go far. It's nice to play in, a bunch of, in front of a bunch of your own fans. It's nice to play against a defense that really doesn't have much to, uh, to offer in the way of getting in uh, Justin Blackman's way. That's what I like most about this OSU team, the Whedon to Blackman combination, uh, I think travels pretty well. We saw the Cowboys uh, have become a really good road team. They're eight and one in the last two years in true road games. OSU, a very, very good road game, a very good road team in, in recent years. So I think the Cowboys win and probably easily. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just sort of a strange setting. Nine o'clock on Saturday night kickoff, late, late start. Um, you're, in a, you're in a venue you haven't been in 11 years, so none of, the, none of these guys know anything about it. I, I, think it, I think it's a potential trap game, but I think that Whedon to Blackman combination is just going to be too much for Tulsa to handle. I think the Cowboys win with a big number. Well, and I think the other interesting aspect of this setup doesn't even have anything to do with this week's game. It's next week. Cowboys are getting ready to go to Texas A&M. And, you know, I, I posed a question to several players about that A&M game. And from Tracy Moore, who's a Tulsa product himself, Tulsa Union, he said, I didn't even know we were playing Texas A&M. So, you know, if that's any indication, Cowboys really aren't looking ahead. So part of that trap game scenario would be sort of an eye on that next opponent. And obviously a and is a huge game. It's going to be a big test for the Cowboys. But at least one Cowboy who, I, you know, is fairly plugged in, I think, said, I, you know, I wasn't even aware that that was our next game. So I think the trap aspect of it, it you know, it's clearly there's some elements there after a, a big win a year ago. Obviously, that's going to be in the Cowboys' head just how badly they beat Tulsa a year ago. But I think at the same time, they know going on the road, different story, and they know that Tulsa is going to be gunning for them. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman.